we have several examples that we want to run through, examples of relations, and we want, to, we want to determine, is it a function? And then we want to determine what the domain and range will be of this relation or function. So let's look here. In this first example, I hope that you can see that this is not going to be a function. Why not? Well, if I slide my vertical line through here, you see that very quickly, you are hitting this in more than two spots. So this guy is going to fail that vertical line test. So this guy is not a function. All right, but let's talk about domain and range. So here's what I want you to do. If you can imagine that you're kind of compressing everything to the x-axis, what would you be touching? And it's not where do we cross the x-axis axis because that means nothing to us. It's about the values of x that we use. So notice that the furthest to the left this guy gets is negative 8. And then he goes up, and he comes back down, and the furthest to the right he gets is negative 2. So all of this picture is bounded between those two values. It's bounded in between negative 8 and negative 2. We're going to use brackets there because we are including those ends, right? So this guy bounces around, he comes over here, and he comes down over here. He's just staying well within those, those two numbers. And what about your range? Well, if you can kind of map this over to the y-axis, right? The bottom, this, or the lowest this guy gets, the bottom here is at negative 3, and then he goes up. And how far up does he go? Well, he maxes out up here at 7. And so if you take what we are coloring here on the number line, or on the, on the y-axis, you treat that like a number line, and you translate that in interval notation. So it's from here on the bottom at negative 3, going all the way up here to 7. And so that's how we do domain and range. Let's see about the next example that we have. And then next example, we've got this crazy, you know, Rocky Mountains type thing going on here. And we first want to determine whether or not this is a function. Does it pass the vertical line test? Well, take your ruler and slide it along here. Does this, does this graph ever curve back onto itself? You see that as we trace along here, you are only ever hitting that ruler in one spot at a time. This guy never curves back onto itself. So, yes, this is a function. Well, what about the domain? Well, let's see, this guy goes left to right. Does he ever break? It doesn't look like it. He goes from the left. He's just going up and down, but he goes all the way to the right without stopping, so my domain will be all real numbers. Right? So there's no gap, there are no jumps, none of that. So the domain is everything. What about the range? Well, let's look at this. He starts right here, and then he goes up to 5, and then he goes down, and up, and down. The lowest he seems to get is negative 1. And he bounces up and down and up and down, but he stays well within those, those boundaries. The lowest he gets is negative 1, and the highest he gets is 5. So my range is negative 1 to 5. He never goes beyond that, right? He's got these weird oscillations. Lowest he gets is negative 1, highest he gets is 5. Negative 1, 5, he just, just keeps bouncing back and forth between that. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, I like this example. Oh, not that one. We'll get to it in a second. Uh, this guy. This is a vertical line. Does he pass the vertical line test? Let's see. If I slide my vertical line along here, no problem, no problem, but then I get here. And all of a sudden, this vertical line fails the vertical line test because the vertical line that goes through here is going to hit it in an infinite number of points. So this guy is not a function. But that doesn't mean that we can't talk about the domain and range. So what's the domain here? What are the x values that make up this picture? Well, he doesn't go left, he doesn't go right, he just stays right here at that value. Just at that value. So the only x value that this particular relation uses is 4. Not 4 to infinity, he just uses 4. 
So we need to use set notation for that. Don't tell me that this guy goes to infinity. Domain is a left and right. So you have nothing, nothing, nothing. You've got four and then nothing the rest of the way. So when it's just that single point, you're going to use uh, the curly brackets there. And my range. Well, the range is supposed to be the set of y values. Well, this guy goes all the way down. He goes all the way up. So you would end up including everything that's on that y-axis just to make this picture. So the range would be all real numbers, like that. So watch out for questions that may show up like this in your homework. Or for me. You never know. All right, this next example, you kind of saw him sneaking in there. Not this crazy guy. Is this a function, yes or no? Let's see. If I slide my vertical line, everything is fine until I get here. Right? And this guy ends up curving back onto itself. And I said that's one of those no-nos. We can't have that guy. Um, so this guy is not a function. Well, what about my domain? Well, look what he's doing. He keeps bouncing back and forth. Is it consistent or does it get wider as you oscillate? Well, it looks like he's sticking between negative 1 and he gets as far out here as positive 7. So he's staying well within that, uh, that boundary from negative 1 to positive 7. And what about my range? Well, hope you guys won't be mad that I used the wrong color here. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but your range. This guy goes all the way down, and he goes all the way up. So he would be using all real numbers, just like that. We still have a few more examples to see, so click on through to the next video.